Hi, in this module, I'm going to be talking about how digital publishers make money from direct payments. Before I go any further, I should define a digital publisher. Basically, it's any entity that makes money through digital content. So examples can include large news sites like the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times. They could include large social companies like a Facebook or aggregators of content like a Yahoo. They could also include entities that are gaming companies who provide games for either phones, console or PC. Each of these forms lends itself more appropriately to specific forms of monetization. So let's jump in. Again, in this module, I'm going to be talking about direct payments or where the user is accessing the content. This can take several forms which have been proven to be useful for specific forms of content. This is in contrast to the ad supported model that I'm going to talk about in a different module. First of all, I'm going to break this down into five different models. The first type of payment is a one-time fee. This is a typical model for where someone is trying to purchase an app, either through the Apple or the Google Store, and obviously can lend itself well to casual gaming or similar type of content. The second is for some sort of subscription, usually on a monthly or an annual basis. And this is a model that is typically employed by premium news outlets, again, like the Wall Street Journal or New York Times, who view their content as premium. So they charge a monthly fee for access to some or all of their content. It's also employed by sites where some of the experience is free and has ads, but the monthly subscription service has no ads. Next, let's talk about freemium. Freemium can basically be defined as providing basic services for free, but charging for premium services separately. You see this in a lot of games where you have to pay for a monthly or a season pass, like a gold pass or a battle pass, that allows you access to additional features or skins, rewards, or challenges. The fourth type of direct payment model is micropayments. This is a concept that has been around for a really long time where you pay a small amount for reading one article or two articles. And while it's been talked about for a long time in the industry, unfortunately it's never really taken off at scale. And finally, the last type of direct payment model that I am going to talk about is donations. In this category, there are platforms that facilitate donation transactions, notably companies like Kickstarter, Patreon, or GoFundMe. And this model tends to be appropriate for more nascent or niche type of products. So let's summarize some of the pros and cons of direct payments. Why do publishers like direct payments? The first reason is that it provides a direct relationship with the revenue source, so payments from customers. For subscriptions, this could be a recurring source of revenue. Also, it has the advantage that there is no clutter from advertising someone else's products. Now let's talk about some of the challenges or barriers or cons to the, this type of approach. The first is that the user needs to see the value of the product that will convince them to pay for that product. And they need to see that value in advance, usually of making the payment. You could have a trial period where someone gets access for seven days or a month. But again, the user needs to be convinced of the value of that product in order to pay for it. The other uh, challenge is around transaction of the mac payment mechanism. If you are using Apple or Google and need to facilitate the transaction, they will take a cut. Even if you're trying to facilitate the transaction yourself, you may need to sign up for some kind of third-party payment company to enable those credit card transactions. And even in the case of donations, there will usually be some kind of platform cost. 
Next up, I'm going to do a deep dive on why to use direct payments and why instead the publisher may choose to use advertising.